Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about how to solve a system of equations using the elimination method. So to use the elimination method, the first thing you need to do is line up your x and y terms vertically. Um, then you need to multiply sometimes one, sometimes both, or sometimes neither. So you multiply one or both equations when necessary to create coefficients for x or y that are opposites. So when you do this, this is a really important step because if the terms are opposites and you add them together, they're going to cancel out or eliminate. And by opposites, I mean one is positive and one is negative. So you could have positive 3y, negative 3y, or positive 5x, negative 3x, or 5x. So once you have coefficients that are opposites, you add your equations vertically, and one of your variables should cancel out. So once one of your variables cancels out, you have a regular equation that you can solve, and then you substitute this value into either of your original equations, so the first or second. All right, let's give a couple of these a try. So in this first example, I have uh, 2x plus 2y equals negative 2 and 3x minus 2y equals 12. So I can see right here that I already have two terms that are opposites. I have positive 2y and negative 2y. So in this case, I actually don't need to multiply either of them. I can just add vertically going down. So if I add vertically, 2x plus 3x is 5x. 2x plus, or 2y plus negative 2y, these cancel out, and then here I have 10. So now I just have an equation with one variable, which I can solve by dividing both sides by 5. So once I have one of my um, answers, all I need to do is substitute it into either equation, whichever one looks easier, so I'll substitute it into the first equation, and now I can solve for my y value. So that's where I substituted, so I get 4 plus 2y equals negative 2, 2y equals negative 6. If I subtract 4 from both sides, then I get y equals negative 3. So last thing, make sure you write your answer as a coordinate. And there you have it. All right, let's look at the second example. So here I don't have any terms that are opposite, so I'm going to need to um, multiply one or maybe both of my equations. So I see that here, if I want to um, eliminate my x's, I can do so by multiplying my second equation by negative 2. And when I multiply the equation, I have to multiply every single term. Now, this isn't the only way you can use the elimination method, but it seems to be probably the easiest way for this problem. But if you see a different way that works, that is totally fine. So if I multiply every single term in my second equation, I get negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 10. You have to make sure to distribute to every single term. So here, my x terms will eliminate and I'm left with negative 1y equals negative 4. So if I divide both sides by negative 1, I get y equals 4. So this is what I will substitute. Um, let's substitute it into the second equation. So x plus 2 times 4 equals 5. There's a substitution. So when I solve, I get x equals negative 3 and then write your answer as a coordinate. There you have it. Okay, so now let's take a look at this last example. This one's a little bit trickier because I'm actually going to need to multiply both of my equations. So I could try to eliminate my y terms, um, but I think it could be a little bit easier to eliminate my x terms. So if I have a 4 and a 6, I know that a common multiple of those two terms is 12. So I want to turn 1 into positive 12 and 1 into negative 12. So I can do that. I can multiply my top equation oops, sorry, by 3. And I can multiply my bottom equation by negative 2. So let's make sure this works. So if I multiply um, every term in my top equation by 3, I get 12x plus 15y equals 18. 
and then in my bottom equation I'll get negative 12x plus 14y equals positive 40. So it turns out that we did it right. My x terms eliminate. Now all I need to do is finish solving. So I get 29y equals 58. So if I divide both sides by 29, I get y equals 2. And then let's substitute that into our first equation. So 4x plus 5 times 2 equals 6. So subtract 10 from both sides and divide both sides by 4. x equals negative 1. So I have negative 1, 2. So this is um, kind of similar to adding fractions where you have to find a least common denominator. So check your terms and try to find the least common multiple so, they, so um, your terms will cancel out. All right, so at this point, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and give these three problems a try. All righty, let's go ahead and check your work. So the first problem is a little bit um, strange because your x value is a fraction. It is negative one-half, but that's okay. You can still substitute a fraction. Just be careful here. When you're doing this math, remember you need to um, make a common denominator. So in order to do that, I'm going to multiply this by 2 over 2. So you get negative 6 over 2 plus 1 over 2. So that's how you get negative 5 over 2. Um, for the second problem, I multiplied the top equation by 2, so my y terms would eliminate. This is not the only way to do the problem, but you should end up with the same answer as mine if you did it differently. Um, so I got 1, 1. And for the last problem, I multiplied the bottom equation by 2, so my y terms would cancel out again. Um, and I got x equals 1, y equals 2. Alright, that's all. Thank you for watching.